I'm gonna show you guys how to break down the FN 509 tactical. So the importance of breaking down and cleaning your gun is to increase the longevity of your gun, learn how to properly lubricate your gun, understand your weapon, because this could save your life one day and make sure it's always reliable and safety because you don't want your gun to jam on you. But you know, FN tactical, y'all already know, they're very reliable and they won't jam on y'all. All right, this is how I'm gonna start the breakdown process. First thing we're gonna do is press the mag release, release the mag, mag gone. Now I'm gonna show you there's nothing in the chamber. All right, now we're gonna start the breakdown process of the gun. First thing you wanna do after you press that, this is the uh, slide release. On an FN tactical, it doesn't go up, it goes down. So you go straight down. All right, as I was saying, you're gonna push down with the slide release. The, uh, on the FN tactical, some, some guns, the slide release will go up, but on this gun, the slide release goes down. So after you do that, you're going to release the slide. This, this is the slide lock. So after you release the slide lock, you're gonna release it. Okay, after you release it, you're going to pull the trigger. After you pull the trigger, the slide is loose. So you're just gonna move it straight forward. Okay. Okay, so this is the lower of a FN 509 tactical. As you can look inside, this is, why well, I saw there, this is a slide release. This is a slide lock. It goes inside of this bad boy. It's got some good material. As, as you know, the upper part of the slide is where, well, the upper of the gun, that's where all the weight is. The lower, it's not really no weight. It's like picking up a jelly bean. It's really light. It's a great gun. See the logo, the FN logo. Now let's go back to breaking down the gun. So this, this, this gun comes with a threaded barrel, as you can see. So we're gonna screw, unscrew the threaded barrel. You need to unscrew the threaded barrel to finish breaking down the gun. You can't you break, finish breaking out the gun without unloosening the threaded barrel. Okay, after you do that, this is the spring of the gun. So to release the spring, you're just gonna press this in and move it up. Okay, the spring is released. In the rest of the video, I'm gonna show y'all we're gonna oil and use carbon. As I was saying earlier, we're gonna use carbon cleaner and oil throughout, the, throughout this video to clean the gun. This is now after we just got this is the spring. We just got rid of the spring. Now this is the barrel of the gun. So we're gonna take the barrel out. Okay, now we have completely broken down the entire weapon. This we're gonna use this to clean the barrel out. Use this to clean the barrel out. And this, and we're gonna use carbon cleaner. And we're gonna use oil when we're cleaning out the parts of the gun. So this is a full breakdown. I'm gonna clean the gun. And then I'm going to use the oil and then carbon cleaner to finish it off. So this, this is going to be the spots we're going to use oil and carbon cleaner. We're going to, where all the, the, the joints and stuff and the movement of the gun. You see the spring, we're going to put some carbon cleaner oil right there. Carbon cleaner and oil right there. And carbon cleaner oil right there. And after you let the carbon cleaner oil roll, but you're going to clean it on both occasions. But first you're going to shake it, let it go throughout the gun. And then you're going to use a rag, rag or a t-shirt to clean out the excess residue. So now we're gonna start off with the carbon cleaner. If, if you want, you know, we don't do paid promotion. So we got we can't show y'all the name of the carbon cleaner. We're not getting paid for this, so. Okay, one squirt in each of the three sections. Okay, that's one, two, three okay shake it in throughout that gun let it rock get in there for about three let it get all throughout and this is where we're going to clean the excess residue of the gun excess residue for the carbon cleaner off the gun so as you can see the spring right here and get in there the bottom piece um, the spring clean that area of the lower clean this area of the lower and get that part of the lower. Okay. I'm gonna just for safety and make sure it gets all throughout the lower. Three more seconds, shake it around. Oh, I get, get crazy with it. Now, since we got that part of the uh, carbon cleaner done, now we're gonna go to the oil, the most essential part of the gun. This, stop, this helps with major issues with jamming, rust, 
you know, it, it comes with a, a, a lot of perks, you know, releasing buildup and a lot stops failure to fire, failure to feed and failure to reject. So now we're going to add oil to the same three spots we were just messing with. Okay. All right. So like we said, we're going to shake it, let it go all throughout the system again of the lower. Ooh, look at that material, man. FN does not play when it comes to manufacturing. So shake it in, take it off. And now we're going to clean off the excess. It's your shirt or rag or whatever you want to use. That bad boy ready for next time you go to a shooting range. Man, they be like, man, it's coming out like a whistle, man. That thing's smooth and slick. They be like, man, how you, how you cleaning it? You show, show them this video right here. All righty. So now we're going to clean off other parts of the gun. Okay, this is the firing pin of the upper, of the slide, upper of the slide. This is the firing pin where the spring is. So we're going to repeat the same steps. We use your carbon cleaner. One squirt, it do. Okay. I let it go all the way down that slide. Let's get a close up of that spring. Yeah. Hey, y'all see? It's got a little action as y'all can see all that gunpowder and carbon, all that in there. Yeah, it's man, seen some work. So okay, after about three seconds and pass. Wipe off and clean off the excess. All right. Now we're going to add some oil. Okay. Let that bad boy go out. Let that oil go all the way down. Okay. Right, but get about three seconds. You don't want to just immediately because it doesn't give it time to go all the way throughout the slide. So let that oil, let gravity do its work. I know y'all took physics and stuff throughout high school. Y'all know what y'all talking about. So I'm going to clean that off. Okay. It's looking good. Now for the spring, we're going to do the same, repeat the same stuff. We're going to insert it in two different sections, upper and lower section. So we're going to put carbon upper section okay carbon on the lower section right, we're gonna let that drop all the way down the spring it's gonna release a lot of build up and residue that's on it from use of the gun okay three seconds have passed so now we get this rag clean off the spring okay now for this next part time to add the oil Okay, two parts. Let it go all the way down that spring. Well, yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it doing its job, man. Seems gonna be like well old machine when I get done with it, man. Oh yeah. If y'all didn't have fathers, anybody teach y'all how to break down a gun, man. This is why you need this video. Show it to your friends that they never broke down their guns or their FNs, or they need help. Send them this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you made it this far. Drop a tree emoji in the comments. So now for the last part of the cleaning, we're gonna use the barrel. We're gonna clean out the barrel. We're gonna use a little carbon, carbon relief. It's in there. One drop of do. Let it go all the way down that barrel. And I get that, get that good, get all that in there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna first. Use this barrel barrel scrubber. Get that bad boy all the way in there. You gotta go all the way in there. Yeah, get all the way through. Yeah, pull that thing right out. If you want to go one or two times, just to make sure, go one more. Make sure you get everything. Yeah, stop any jamming, any gun residue. I mean, gunpowder residue in there. Okay. Now for the finishing up of cleaning up the barrel. Use this bad boy right here. Go all the way up it. Go all the way up the barrel. Oh yeah, ooh, soot like butter. 
Okay, now for the final part, which y'all been waiting for, we got to put this bad boy back together. We can't leave it like this, man. Come on, look at this, man. What, what am I going to do with this? This can't protect anybody. This can't protect me. So now, you got to put that bad boy back in. So the barrel goes in first. And it goes in first. All right, you see that? That's what it's going to look like. You're going to start off with putting the barrel. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and put the threaded barrel back on there. Okay, put the thread. Make sure it catch on there good. Yeah, there we go. Want that thing sliding on soap like butter. Put a little pressure at the end, make sure it's tightened on up. Alright. All good. Alright. Got that on there. So next step, add the spring. Okay. See the spring is nice and nice and ready. Primed up to get put back on the wall. Alright. Got the spring on there. Get y'all a good look at this. All right, that's what we're working with so far. So if you're gun, I mean, if you're uh, FN, when you get to this step, doesn't look like this, something is wrong. So now we're gonna put the upper back, connect it back with the lower. You gotta line it up. Okay, gotta catch those grooves. You go, you start off, all right, you see this area? This is where you're gonna line it up. You gotta match it in, in those areas, so. You line that thing up. Now it's supposed to slide, slide in smooth just like that. And then, as you can see, bam. All right. So this is when push that thing back up like that. Release that bad boy. Now you have to release the trigger to get the pressure off. And that is how you assemble the FN Tactical 509S back together. You've you've carbon released it. You oiled your weapon. And you also cleaned out your barrel with these. And then you wiped off your excess with these materials. Like, comment, and subscribe. And now I'm going to give you benefits and perks of why you should do this with your FN Tactical. So after you have finished cleaning and lubricating your FN Tactical, now this later you're gonna check and test after cleaning. You done lubricated, you got all the loose parts in, clean, got it cleaned up, ready to roll. So I'm gonna need you guys to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what kind of videos y'all wanna see next. And if there's any other weapons y'all seen throughout my channel that y'all need to break down and how to clean and maintain that weapon, I got y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we're out.